Hi, hi, hi. Welcome back, my loves. So, today I'm going to show you this Allure Beauty Box. I haven't opened for you guys yet. I've taken a peek inside. Um, it is yucky on the top because I heat, like I had my heated up fast food set on top. Or like leftover food, whatever you want to say. My doggy bag box. Uh, first, I'm going to tell you, I'm trying the 310 shake like I said in my last video. I shook it. I said prayers over it. I took it on my walk. Like I walked um, a mile with the dog. And that's why I'm all sweaty and gross. Here is the funny story about the walk. I'm going to get back to the shake because I can't even wait to tell you guys this. This is how pitiful I am. I thought I was doing amazing doing a brisk walk. Pa, 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 pa. Go girl. Get it. Yes. Go. Uh, yeah. Doing great. There is a senior 14K run on the same trail I was on today. And there's like these 70 year old men passing me, looking at me like. He's like, oh, coming up on your left, coming up on your left. And I look and it's a 70 year old man running a race that they have going on for the Senior Citizen Center today. And let me tell you, if I was to run at the pace this old man was running, I would need his medical alert necklace. I would need to borrow it because I would be on the ground. Help, I can't get up. I've fallen and I can't get up. I would no longer be able to breathe. It would be an issue. <clears throat> So I'm hoping that, you know, the next time I go out, I, I would prefer the skinny bitches in the yoga pants to the old people showing me up, okay? Um, so back to this 310 shake, it is disgusting. I am trying to drink it because I am frugal and I paid $9 for these three shakes. So I'm going to finish this $3 drink of death if it kills me and is the last healthy thing I do. I may die, but I will have healthy stuff in my system. So this is the vanilla chai. To me, it doesn't even smell good. Um, it does taste chalky, and I have shook it and shook it and shook it. Like, watch. And it doesn't get any less chalky. And it has, like, the thing for the shaker at the top, the little, uh, I don't know what you call it. The little thing that helps separate particles or whatever. It's not helping. And the smell is... I can't even. Can't even. You know, I'd be better off drinking the water. But this is supposed to be a meal replacement, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to eat breakfast. Because if I don't have something to replace my meal, I know me. I'm going to want some Honey Smacks. I'm just going to want some sugar cereal or like two packs of oatmeal. And it's not even the good oatmeal. I mean, it tastes good. It's maple brown sugar. But it's not like whole wheat flaxseed oatmeal because I just can't do that to myself. So uh, I'm going to fi finish it. Bottoms up, bitches. I can't. Ooh. Pray for me, loves. I'm going in. Oh, man. <coughs> I'm, I'm so sorry you had to hear that on TV. I really don't. I really don't think I could do it anymore. It was filled. I think these celebrities on this thing. Like, my eyes are watering. I think the celebrities on this infomercial, they're just lying. They must clearly be paid. Because they're all celebrities. They don't have, like, any real people. I had it filled to this line with liquid. So I have drank that much. And it was forcefully done in the past 40 minutes. If I could just chug it and get it over with, I would. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this. Um, I think I'm just going to be skipping a breakfast thing. Because this is... Man, I really don't know if I could do... Maybe if I plugged my nose so I'm not smelling it. At the same time, I am going to try the other two because I don't want to like ride off the whole company and give them this horrific review based off the vanilla chai. I will try the vanilla tomorrow and then I will try the chocolate the day after. Um, but as of this, this is nasty. Like, nasty. It reminds me of like if you have to go get your stomach scanned at the hospital and they make you drink that uh, thick uh, pasty stuff. That thick, milky, pasty stuff so they can see inside, right? And it's disgusting. You have to, like, choke it down. Okay, this is what that reminds me of. It's disgusting. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to plug my nose and do it. I hope it doesn't make an obnoxious noise because I really have no control over what this does. None. I really wish there was Dr. Pepper in here instead. And, like, yeah, I'm pouting. I really am. Okay, I'm apparently five years old. Oh, wait! Not sm 
I was going to say at first not smelling helped, but then the aftertaste hits you. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I'm just skipping over breakfasty stuff today. And I'm um, hoping I don't binge at lunch because I don't think I can do it, man. I just don't. Like, I really tried. I really tried the healthy thing this morning and that shit's not working. I, I would literally, ugh, I'll throw up. Well, maybe that would... You, listen, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not advertising anybody throw up to lose weight, but... It wouldn't hurt and it wouldn't be purposeful on my part. It would be part of 310's doing, not mine. Anyways, to the Allure Beauty Box. So if you're new here, welcome. I always forget to say that to people. Um, I just assume you're used to seeing my face. And I love all of you loves. You're all my loves. So it comes with this girl, which I believe her name was Carly Bybell. I don't really follow a lot of the makeup people some people i follow that are local that are friends of mine that went to esthetician school and do makeup um but as far as people who have huge millions and millions of followers and uh all of that i don't know i don't know i just i think i feel like i'm being judged a lot because i'm a little bit out there um so I can't really relate with somebody so presentable. Do you know what I mean? Is that weird? Yeah, it's weird. Okay, so I'm not going to look at all the items. I kind of looked at them a little bit. But it also says if you refer a friend, you get the Kawhi, whatever this is called, sample, valued at $14. I have no idea how to refer a friend. So I'm, oh, it's all in there. It's just sitting in there. I'm going to figure out how to refer a friend and I will put it in my little description box thingy. And then, I don't know what's coming in May. I looked at the May spoilers, like honestly, not overly impressed. I feel like it's all stuff we've gotten before in other boxes. Not even that, that great of stuff. My hair is so sweaty, so I'm sorry. I'm super sidetracked today. Uh, my hair smells good. It's just sweaty. Uh, okay, so the reason why you came, we're seven minutes in and I haven't showed you anything in this box yet. Please forgive me, I know not what I do. Alright, so my first item is the Briogeo, Briogeo Farewell Frizz Blowout Perfection and Heat Protecting Cream. I love this brand, but I would have rather, because they would have sent this or the spray, I would have rather gotten the conditioning spray. Now the full size of this is, I don't think it tells you what your value of this is, but the full size of this is $24. And you can get 15% um, off if you enter Allure 15 at Briogeo or whatever. Okay. And the size of this is 0 0.75 fluid ounces. Let's see if it smells good. Oh, it's safety seal. You guys ever watch Abadabs and she has the safety seal song? So, 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 safety seal. That's the remix version. Next. Natasha Denona. I've never heard of her, but, you know. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I was going to, like, legit put makeup on for you guys before I filmed this video. I'm, like, half determining whether or not I should like unclick and then do like some mascara and eyeliner and a lip color um foundation's not gonna work right now because my skin's like five different shades of colors you know no you're used to seeing me like this anyways we're just gonna roll with it I will make a earnest effort to do it tomorrow because I literally came in unhooked the dog and then just set up my phone to film for you guys because you guys were the first thing I thought of as my thighs were quaking. Literally, it was a half mile there, a half mile back. I act like I'm dying. It's so ridiculous. Look at how pretty this shade is, y'all. I'm gonna swatch. Apparently, ooh, it's really, ooh, it's really soft. I'm not like the best swatcher because I have not great color. Um, ooh, my goodness, I like this. Maybe I'll wear this in my video tomorrow when I film for you guys. But that's real pretty. I like that a lot. 
and then, well, maybe I'll just put some on right now. We'll just play with it because I got this Lotsy brush came in here as well. My goodness. Jake, Jake, you want to come up on the bed and say hi? So this, the eyeshadow was um, probably like $27, like 100%. I'm going to let you know that maybe this is just me and my cheap ass, but I, Marie, Riri, um, would never pay $27 for a little square like this. I just wouldn't. I could go to a shady massage parlor for that price. I could um, have lunch for two days for that price. I could go to the movies with my husband for that price. Like that, that's an exuberant price for a tiny eyeshadow. That's overpriced. It's, I don't care how soft it is. Mm -mm. So we're just gonna put some on with this fancy new. I'm pretty sure I have the same exact one somewhere. This is the Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. Probably not the best brush to do this with. And it is worth $12. Now, I never buy brushes anymore because I get them in boxes. But when I do buy the ones, it's usually like the Eco Tools where you can get three for like $15. You can see how my skin is like literally three different shades of color. It's ridiculous. There's like red, tan, and like my pale self. I'm not going to do like a makeup look. I'm just going to see how this looks on my eyeballs. Not that there's the best lighting in here. We're just going to call that good. I just like the sound the tapping makes. So I was thinking of like doing some videos where, not mimic, but I imitate because I'm not a professional YouTuber by any means. Golly, no, I'm not. Um, I can do like an ASMR of positive affirmations for you guys because I don't have any professional equipment so I couldn't do any of the fancy sounds. I could do one of like a mukbang. As far as I know, all that is is you eat some food in front of some people and I'm good at that. So... <laughs> I could even try to make it healthy food. I don't know how much fun that would be, but um, I don't know what other type of thing people do YouTube videos of, but if you give me some ideas, I'm willing to just try to pull from all different people. Not that I would do it all the time. Um, it would be more just a fun segment of things that I would do consecutively, say like a week or 10 days, I would do one every day. So I know of mukbang, I know of like, Affirmation AFR, I would do, uh, AFR, what is that? Armed Forces Recognances, like I don't know, I don't know what that is. Um, ASMR, I could do, um, uh, where you ask me questions and my answers I make into songs. Like if you were to say, what is your least favorite food? I could sing to you, God made all the best foods in the world, except for onions. The devil made that shit. Uh, we could do s something like that where you submit questions and I answer in song form. We could do, um, I don't know, just give me some ideas, guys. I think it would be fun just to experiment and try things. Anyways, back to the box at hand. I'm super sidetracked today. I am high energy, but super sidetracked. Okay, this next item is Laura Geller Incredible Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. Brown Eyed Girl. I like getting brown liners. And this is from Laura Geller. It looks to be like a full size. I hope I'm not getting this eyeshadow like all over my shirt. Let's see, this is $22. Again, um, I probably would never pay more than $10, $12 for an eyeliner because I just, I just wouldn't. Oh, it's a little jacked up looking. The tip broke. <laughs> just the tip broke. <laughs> Let me see if I can fix that. 
So I will try some on for you. I'm not good at eyeliner by any means at all. But we'll give it a shot. Again, this is $22 by Laura Geller. I know you're not supposed to hold your eyelids like this, but I have no idea how else to do eyeliner I suck at it. Please don't poke yourself in the eye, Marie, on video in front of all these nice people. Yeah, that's super thick eyeliner, but whatever. We're gonna. It goes on super, super soft. To me, this goes on almost like a wet eyeshadow. My eyebrows are rough looking too. So, I like it. It's more of a natural look. All natural. Look at that. I am doing makeup for you guys today. Being all fancy. Fancy, put your clothes. What, how is that song? Here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me down. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. Is this Anastasia? This is Laura Geller. So, it says that this is a $20 value. Which I don't, I honestly don't think for a liquid lipstick $20 is bad. I would probably still try to find mine on sale because I am thrifty. Um, you find it at Sephora.com. I don't know if this is the only uh, shade that they sent. But, let's give it a look. See, this one is in pure Hollywood. Hollywood! Don't look me like that, Jake. What? What? Whoa, Nelly. Oh, it's like really nude. Whoa, Nelly. I like the way that this kind of dries soft instead of super dry. I'll probably still put a lip balm slash um, chapstick or whatever over it. Because I don't always like the way that liquid lipsticks make my skin feel. Like kind of dry and tacky at the same time. So I don't know if I have the right tone skin for this. I don't hate it. Maybe if I had like full face makeup and blush and all that tone or bronzer, blah, blah, blah. It would be okay. The last item is from a company called Vita Laborata. Ooh, isn't that a fancy name? Vita Laborata. I feel like Viva Las Vegas should follow it. Advanced organic. It's not just organic, but it's advanced organic. Up to 10 days from one application. Organic tan infused cloth for face and body. I'm not going to open this because clearly I already have color on my face and my, my arms. So, I've never... Okay, last time I used a self-tanner, I was like in 8th grade. It was a really bad idea. So, if you guys have some suggestions on this let me know down below so I said so like five times I do apologize my goodness I swear I can speak English um once my tan or burn or whatever this is starts to fade I will give this a shot because I really don't like to sit in the sun or tan in bed and get color I think that's just foolish um Feel like this is gonna turn out bad but for the sake of YouTube and how much I love you guys I'm going to give it a shot I don't think I could do it on film because what do you have to be like naked to do this and y'all don't want to see that clearly um, 
That would be traumatizing. I wouldn't even get in a bathing suit in front of y'all. I mean, may maybe, maybe I would be in my bathing suit. Cause you only see me from up here. So like really all of the like not pretty stuff would be blocked from your view. For the viewer discretion, this has been censored out. So that is everything that came in um, my Allure Beauty Box for this month. I am relatively happy. I wish I had gotten the spray instead of the cream. And I don't know how I feel about these tanning cloths. Um, I think I like this month better than what next month is going to be. I'm, I feel like the past couple months they've kind of gone downhill from what they were doing. So we'll see if I keep them. I'm very meh right now. I'm very meh. So that is it for today, my darlings. I, I do still have my Ipsy. I'm going to post this now and let me know if you want to see my Ipsy today or tomorrow. Because, I mean, I guess I could do Ipsy today while I have so much energy. I don't know. All right, my loves. If you do not watch another thing from me today or for the rest of your life, I love you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.